Thank you, Chair. Um, Steve Bustilarita, San Joaquin County Board of Supervisors. I think Supervisor Wynn is here. Supervisor Wynn, I saw him earlier back there. I uh, just wanted to acknowledge his presence. I greatly appreciate having the opportunity to briefly um, make my presentation, which is going to be really short on the technical part because we've heard it before. I will talk about uh, um, the economic and environmental benefits briefly, that it saves time for passengers and improves the quality of their life. It takes automobiles off our busy, congested highways, enhances public safety, uh, reduces emissions, generates good jobs. Um, and here's a real important tidbit. Uh, by 2035, the 580 corridor, the traffic is projected to increase by 75% in that time frame. So we need to look forward to solutions. I want to just kind of share three stories, and I appreciate Supervisor Walsh personalizing things. That's really what I wanted to get across today. Um, my own experience, I have attended conferences in Santa Clara and taken the A service uh, to promote the greater Silicon Valley. Um, and, and in that process, we are supporting, uh, we have an office uh, at the end of the line that San Joaquin Cat Partnership has, and I'm sure you'll be hearing from Mike Amon, where we actually court companies on behalf of all the cities in San Joaquin County to come to San Joaquin County. Uh, I have frequently traveled the San Joaquin services since 1983. I had the pleasure of working in Bakersfield. And uh, coming home every weekend is a young man out of college. Um, and I've noticed a significant multiple increase in the, in, in the population throughout the valley, but not so much in services to rail. So it's an important need for a growing valley. Lastly, and on a more personal note, uh, because I think it's, I think conveying personal stories um, are important to understand how, how important the use of public transportation is. I have a 25-year-old son with special needs who has required significant medical attention since the day he was born. Um, a simple dental visit requires three trips to San Francisco, and, um, and then once we get that squared away, then it's in a hospital environment with anesthesia and a backup crash crew, and uh, it's a very complicated process. Uh, at times, he has spent weeks in the hospital, and I have commuted every day back and forth because the world doesn't stop because of challenges that we have. And, and my point here, it's, it, you know, health care is near and dear to me. Um, San Joaquin County probably enjoys one of the most profitable hospitals in the state of California, and I can say on a per capita ba basis, we are the absolutely most profitable hospital. Delivering health care services to our underserved communities is really important to me. My personal comments are not about Steve Best Loritas. I have the means to provide the services for my family. It's about the underserved community and the needs that our children have, and not just special needs children, but children throughout our, our valley and the needs of these services that just aren't provided in the valley. And uh, access and affordability uh, of health care is a really important component. And we've worked on that federally and at the state level to provide good health care. And now we have to work on providing the transportation link to get these families that are underserved to have the same access that I've been able to provide for my son. Thank you very much for your time and, uh, uh, and having this hearing in public uh, before everyone here in Modesto. Thank you.